afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. Today, I got another Invicta watch for you guys. So, uh, super excited for this one. And uh, a little touch, to be honest with you, uh, this is a gift from one of my subscribers who was super generous and nice enough to uh, gift me a watch for Christmas. Uh, awesome, awesome guy. Uh, one of the guys I call my usual suspects on, uh, you know, on YouTube. He always pops into the live chats, been following me for a while. And it's really cool to be able to, I guess, kind of build a little bit of a friendship uh, with somebody that lives in a totally different state, right? So um, his name is James Perez, and uh, James, thank you so much, sir, uh, for the generosity. Um, he goes by the, the username on, if you, if you see him on uh, YouTube or whatnot, it's JJ, JJJ, F -F -F -P -P -P. So I just call him Jif Pop. Uh, so uh, I'm not sure why I call him Jif Pop. I don't own it, but I've always just referred to him as Jif Pop. Uh, but anyway, um, you know, if you see him, comment, you know, give give him give him a high five, whatever, give him a thumbs up. I don't know, but it's really generous that he was. Uh, they, they did that. It was really surprising. Um, and so there was a watch. And, and here's a little bit of how the story went. I was talking to him about a leather jacket or something. And uh, I just said, man, there's some great deals going right now. He was telling me about some watch he was going to get. And I forget what it was off the top of my head. I think it was... Um, Maybe one of the, if I remember correctly, maybe it was like one of the Aquacy uh, Bronzos. It's on special uh, from Aquacy Watches. And I think he decided to get this Diamond uh, Invicta instead. Uh, and I was like, man, I, I totally understand. Some of the deals around Christmas are just nuts from the Invicta stores. But I got to hold off. I got to, you know, I'm not rich. So I got to be a little careful. And he's like, which one are you looking for? And sure enough, uh, he, he bought me the watch. He PayPal'd me the money. So that's awesome. Um, and this is a Pro Diver. And this is one that, again, another one of these watches that is a Submariner homage. You guys know uh, if you're familiar with Invicta watch everybody knows what the pro diver is and uh, you know I don't have believe it or not a pro diver in my collection I have the grand diver I've been wanting one and you know I have a lot of the Submariner homage style watches by many other brands um, I just don't want to get a blackface regular version this is the all red and this is kind of my idea that I had uh, many many years ago when I mentioned having a red label now they don't call this the red label let me just captivate you oh my God, look at this sucker. Uh, blood red. It is absolutely stunning. Um, and it's on bracelet. And that's, you know, you guys know that's one of my, what I consider almost like a checkbox for me. I wear all kinds of watches, but I absolutely love bracelet watches. And I just awesome. He was like, he was like, yeah, which one? And I, I told him, he's like, I'm going to send you the money and buy it for you. So anyway, uh, just, I mean, it's one thing for your family to do those things and people that you know, like, you know, even my friends don't get me anything. You know what I mean? Not that I want it, uh, but it's just, it's very generous. And it, it just, it, it, it gives me a little bit of, I'm not, I don't want to make it sound like uh, you can buy friendship and you buy these things. I don't mean it like that. But, you know, I just, I, I, it is, it, it is very surprising that there are people in this world that are that generous, that are just find value in some guy on YouTube and decide to do that. So again, thank you. I mean, super awesome. Um, you know, that's never happened before and it's really appreciated. Um, <laughs> so, but unfortunately with Invicta stores, it takes forever to get this. So uh, generally, if you order from Invicta stores, you're looking at over 10 days, but I got it today already sized and it is beautiful. So getting back to that red label, uh, you know, I've often said Invicta needs to do a red label watch. Hopefully you see, uh, they don't brand this red label, of course. It's not like the blue label or the black label or gold label. Uh, this isn't branded with any kind of red labels, although I think it should. Uh, we're going to call this the red label. I'm going to call it that. Just like when I was reviewing uh, a lot when I first started getting the Sea Hunter watches, when those first came out, the new generation, I called the Sea Hunter 3, and that really stuck. And the reason for that, um, even Invicta calls it the Sea Hunter second generation, it's really not, because Invicta did label a different watch. Uh, totally different model, very simple, the Sea Hunter. I saw those all over eBay. They had an original Sea Hunter, then they had the Sea Hunter that we all know about with kind of like that rubberized bezel, the, you know, still the real big model. They did make it a 50 millimeter at one point. Uh, then they came out with the one we know of today, the, the this, what I call the Sea Hunter 3, and that's the big one with the gear edged bezel. I think they even have what I would call a Sea Hunter 4 now. But I'm going to call this the red label. You heard it here first. One thing I think Invicta needs to do at some point is to do this color watch. This is exactly what I had in my mind when I thought about red label. Is this, this exact blood red color with the addition of some ruby stones. Some, some synthetic rubies um, You know, are very affordable to do something like that. And if you wanted to really keep the price down, you can find other gemstones that are, are sort of the color red, right? So it would look absolutely stunning with that red. But even without it, it is awesome. Absolutely awesome. So let's talk about this one. So this is the 43 millimeter version. As always, 
Link for this watch is in the description. Uh, this one here, I think, just sold out. So, you know, double check. Sometimes I've noticed that you can't, like, if you have the direct link for a watch on Invicta stores, you can still get to it. But if you were to go search the model number, and this is 40883, if you search this model number on Invicta stores, it won't pull up. So I'm not sure why they do that. I, I have noticed. I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to... I don't, want to, I don't want to blame myself for this, but I have noticed when I've done a review on a watch, next thing you know, the price jumps up. I've, I've noticed that a few different occasions, whether or not they're doing that on purpose or it's just coincidence, not sure. Uh, you may see the price go up on this, but the good news is that this is also available in a 40 millimeter and a 38 millimeter. So uh, a couple different size variations. The 43, I think is the perfect size, not too big, not too small, but I would have got it in a 40 regardless. I mean, it is badass. Uh, so what else do we have here? So this is a Japanese quartz. We don't know which movement is in this, uh, but you know, uh, basic quartz watch. This is this is a really expensive watch. This is about 50 bucks right now if you want to get the 40 millimeter version. Uh, this was about $60 um, when I got it. They had a 40% off coupon. They still have that extra 40. Make sure you take advantage of that. Again, link is in the description. I'll pop a link up here right now. Um, and I was incorrect here. The quartz movement in this is called the PC32. You know, when you're looking at $60 watches, you know, that are quartz. I, I never worry about too much about whether it's a Seiko or not. It's a, it's a movement. So Invicta's using it. It's a reliable movement. You, you can't go wrong with anything Invicta's doing, really. Uh, 43 millimeter case diameter. Uh, we have a aluminum bezel insert, and that's one thing that I love on this particular watch, but that's one reason why, uh, well, I said in the past, when I went to get my all yellow gold, Pro Diver, Rolex Homage style watch. I ended up going Pagani just because they have the ceramic bezel insert. The aluminum is a different look. It's not quite as rich, but on this watch, it works perfectly because it blends really well with the color of the watch. You wouldn't want a bright red bezel on this or a black bezel. This bezel is perfect. So I love that they did that. 100 meters of water resistance. They do call this tone burgundy, and I think that's I think that's a fair assessment. You know, that's probably why they don't call it the red label. But to me, I think red label is a much better. Uh, a ruby label would be great. But um, it is called burgundy, and I love the color. If it was bright red, um, I wouldn't like it as much. This blood red, this burgundy color is awesome. It's great. Uh, what else? 22 millimeter bandwidth. You know, a lot of stuff I don't really care about. Screw down crown, flame fusion crystal. That's pretty standard. Um, it is a um, all 316 stainless steel. Uh, case, of course, bracelet. Um, end links on these are hollow, and I don't know about the center links. They appear to be solid, but I can't really, without taking it apart, can't really tell. Let me just double check something because I did size this already. Um, you know, this is important to a lot. You know, for me, when I'm looking at a $60 watch and it's by Invicta, I, I never worry too much about these little things. Uh, but from what I can tell, yeah, they are they are solid center links as well. So, uh, so hollow end links, you know, I mean, right now, 50 bucks. Really can't go wrong. I do encourage you though, if you do click the link in the description and buy something through Invicta stores, uh, and again, you guys know these are affiliate links. Um, if you do, um, buy more so you can take advantage of the free shipping. Uh, Invicta's gonna charge you shipping, unfortunately, of course, uh, on that. And you're gonna wait forever. Sometimes when I order from them, you know, if I was placing a larger order rather than one watch, uh, I'd probably go with like the expedited shipping because they just take forever. It's not just like, 10 days to get it. It's like they take time to package it and get it ready. Although this one was a little bit quicker. They had they said they send you an email saying we're preparing your order. It was done within two days. Sometimes it takes a little longer. But it's Christmas time. We be understanding, right? Right. Um, and what else? That's about it. That's the, the classic normal Invicta stuff. As far as the you know pictures, I'll throw some pictures up here during the video if you haven't if I haven't done so already. Um, this is just it's just a stunning looking watch here. Um, now for those folks who really are kind of uh, you know guys who really nitpick specs, uh, it's just incredible for fifty bucks. If this was an automatic, would I be happier? Sure. If at an, an age thirty five, I'd be happier. You know I am an automatic watch guy, but I don't discriminate. You know I love the quartz too. It's you know the only downside you got to put a battery in eventually. Um, always pull the crown to the number two position. Um, of course, with this one here, I think it's just, let's see, this is, does have the date as well. Yeah, so you just have one, yeah, number two position. Pull to the number two position, you'll conserve the battery life, really with any watch. Um, I love when folks talk about, you know, um, how a crown feels on watches. I mean, this feels absolutely perfect. There's no issues here at all. Uh, smooth, the bezel action smooth. Uh, teeny tiny bit of play, but it looks like it all lines up perfectly. Uh, Lumon Invictus is never great. If you're, you know, if you're new to this channel, you haven't seen my my dozens or hundreds of Invicta reviews. Uh, you know, that's just what you're going to get with Invicta. Uh, just super affordable. It does have the branding on the side. Some folks really get upset about that. Pierce have a screw-on case back. 
stamp clasp. Um, I think if you compare the quality of a watch like this for 50 bucks, a pro diver. I mean, it's incredible that you can buy this for this price, right? Um, if we compare it to other watches, you know, I, I do think that sometimes uh, the Invictas, the pro diver, because of that that stamped clasp, you know, milled clasp just feels a little more solid. It's not any better, really. Um, you know, I think these just feel a little tiny bit tinny as opposed to, say, like a Pagani. Uh, but 50 bucks. I mean, it's half the price. You you really can't go wrong with a Pro Diver. And the cool thing about the Pro Divers is that they do stuff like this. They're making all different kind of colors, right? I mean, once you have this, once you have the standard stainless steel with the black face and the black bezel, the classic Submariner style, you want something a little different. They have them in purple, they have them in a light green, a blue, all different color variations. Now they do have a couple different models as well. Um, and I kind of went back and forth. I'll let my, my mom decide on this one. Um, they do have one with some yellow gold trim around the bezel and some yellow gold accents. I almost went with that, but I decided just to go with the full burgundy model, uh, burgund out. Um, you know, they're both beautiful, 38 millimeter, 40 millimeter, 43. Again, I will put the link in the description. I'll try to pull up like maybe a, um, I'll try to specifically search for like Red Pro Diver and hopefully the link I put in the description will pull up all the different red models. But in case you are having a hard time finding it, just, you know, click the link. If it's, if I end up putting just a universal link, click the link, go there and, um, you know, you can just search for Red Pro Diver. You'll find something, but I'll try to specifically put this watch and hope it comes up for you. Uh, but you can get it in the 40 millimeter. And like I said, 40 millimeter, I would have got this regardless. It is a killer watch. Um, as far as the box, I really like Invicta changed it up. No more bright yellow. I'm sure they still have the bright yellow boxes, but I like the gray. I think the gray is a, is a, I think the gray is just a much better move. Does it matter as far as like, are they going to sell more watches? I don't think so. You know, I mean, it's just a box, but I do think uh, the gray is a little classier, a little more subtle, same old Invicta box, same old interior. I mean, it's incredible. You get a nice box like this for $50. I mean, where go, go, go to the mall and see what 50 bucks gets you. Not much. So it's a pretty incredible value and you really can't go wrong. Box, everything, presentation, nice gray, no more bright yellow. Uh, like I said, I don't think this is going to be their new 2023 color, but it's great. I was actually surprised when I opened it up. Pretty cool. Um, and that's about it. Let's throw on the wrist. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm about five foot eight. I weigh about 182 pounds and I have a seven inch wrist. So I removed four links and used one micro adjustment to get this to fit. Check this out. Now, the only thing you need with this is maybe a nice little... Nice little ruby ring, little ruby pinky ring, something. Um, I've been on the hunt now for some kind of gemstone ring, but we'll see. I haven't really found anything I really like that's uh, within my budget. You know, I don't want to spend four or five, half five hundred dollars for a ring. You know, I mean, it's just this was gifted to me, this rose ring from my mom. Um, I never take it off now. It's always on no matter what I'm doing. It's a quality ring, but, you know, I would never spend, um, you know, I, I don't spend a lot of money on, on stuff like jewelry, you know. So, um, but if I did find the right ring one day, I might get a nice pinky ring. I think the red would look great. Um, something to think about, too, if you do wear a lot of gold, the gold accent version is pretty nice, too. Uh, that was kind of what I was thinking about before I chose this particular model. But, um, you know, like I said, this was the first one I saw. It was really calling me, and it's just a stunning-looking watch. Awesome. Check that out. I mean, just so dope. All right, that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed that video. Once again, I want to thank James for his generosity. Just awesome, brother. Thank you so much. It uh, means a lot. And uh, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, I'm always here to help you guys out. Drop me a comment. Drop me an email. I'm at your disposal. Please use my link if you are going to make an Invicta purchase. Uh, I do appreciate it. Like I said, they are affiliate links. So if you find value in my video and what I'm doing, great. Use it. But always buy from where you feel the most comfortable. And uh, if I don't you know, if I don't do a live feed between now and Christmas, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, try to be kind to one another, and take care.